we have covered extensively, possibly too extensively, the right wing freak out over the war on gas stoves and the war on appliances generally. And they say that the Biden administration, which isn't, but they say that it's initiating, leading this war on appliances in the name of fascist green ener energy policy or something. Well, now we have the next step of the war, apparently. Water heaters are targeted next by, as Marsha Blackburn will say in this Fox News interview, the quote, war on appliances. And this one's interesting because I'll show you what's actually happening with the Department of Energy and what the Biden administration is actually doing when it comes to water heaters. And similar to how we talked about yesterday with the IRS and how what Biden pushed for should just be uncontroversially good. Everyone should agree. Boom. Great. More funding. We get more tax dollars from wealthy people that they should be paying by law anyways. And everyone wins. The government makes a profit. Awesome. But instead, just because it's Biden, and Democrats pushing for it, Republicans oppose it. It's a similar thing here with the water heater, new fear-mongering talking point on Fox News, as Marsha Blackburn will speak to here. So here is Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn, then we'll discuss the facts. They're trying to change the standards on this in order to have people buy more efficient appliances. Why? And Harris, people don't want this. You know, it's like with electric power generators and transformers. With the transformers, they're trying to change the rule on that and to make it, what, 2% more efficient hmm. in the long run? They're trying. I never understand. They never explain why it's bad. What are they trying to make it more efficient? What are they trying to make it cheaper? But they don't actually explain why that's bad. They just say it in a tone of voice that's uh, outraged. So here's the news on this. The Washington Post reports, new rule aims to make outdated home water heaters cheaper and greener, which I care about the greener. But even if you didn't care about the greener, it makes it cheaper for you and lowers your utility costs. But it's bad because of woke. <laughs> the Biden administration proposed a rule Friday that would make new water heaters more efficient by setting standards that encourage companies to update roughly 80 year old technology, the biggest step yet in a series of appliance regulations aimed at reducing Americans utility costs and greenhouse gas emissions. Let me read that end part to you once again. <laughs> uh, regulations aimed at reducing Americans' utility costs and greenhouse gas emissions. We'll read further, but the question has to be asked then. Marsha, why do you want your constituents to pay more for energy when they could pay less? Because you care more about attacking President Biden, about going after your political opponents than benefiting your constituents who would benefit from these regulations. And because apparently Republicans have just given up on any attempt to uh, protect the planet for the future. In this conversation, let's just ignore that and focus again on the costs. It's cutting costs for your constituents who don't care about the effect of the environment, but might care about their own utility bills. The Department of Energy says proposal would save consumers $11.4 billion on their energy and water bills each year. J Can we just please feel this? We live in a country where, of course, people of all political persuasions get so blinded by their partisanship that they make dumb decisions and make dumb statements. But it is unique to this current MAGRA GOP that they will so prioritize that, that they'll so blatantly be against good policies like this. The Department of Energy, I read again, said its proposal would save consumers $11.4 billion on their energy and water bills each year to comply with the rules efficiency standards, which will take effect in 2029. New electric storage water heaters in the most common size uh, would have to use heat pumps, and some gas-fired instantaneous heaters would have to use condensing technology. The change would uh, reduce harmful carbon dioxide emissions by 540 million metric tons over a 30-year period, the department says. It would also save Americans $198 billion over the same time span. So Marsha Blackburn wants to charge you, us, collectively, an additional $198 billion over the next 30 years. Why? 
Why Marsha Blackburn? Do you want to do that? Because you care more about fighting the woke monster, the green energy monster, than actually serving your constituents. And I must say, it's shameful. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. And there's a link in the description.